welcome back to my youtube channel in the course of this video lesson i'll be discussing different topics in chemistry based on the jam syllabus now let's start with the concept of atom now the question we ask ourselves what is an atom an atom is simply the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction what does this mean now for instance you look at life what is the smallest unit of life it is called cell so without this cell life cannot exist same applies to the concept of atom atom is simply the smallest unit of an element so without an atom an element cannot be formed so on this note this must be noted an atom is made up of three important subatomic particles an atom is made up of three important subatomic particles and i call them pain i call these subatomic particles pain p e m these are the subatomic particles so the next question we ask ourselves what does p mean p here means proton okay e here means electrons and lastly n here means neutrons now moving further these subatomic particles they have their respective charges like for protons this must be noted protons are always positively charged okay while for electrons they are negatively charged lastly while for neutrons they are neutral so moving further let us talk about their discoverers meaning who discovered these subatomic particles because these subatomic particles were discovered by different scientists so let's talk about their discoverers this must be noted like for this subatomic particle called proton it was discovered by a man called lord ernest rutherford this is the scientist that discovered proton lord ernest rutherford whereby for electrons electrons was discovered by a scientist called jj thompson jj thompson and lastly neutrons neutrons was discovered by a man called james chadwick james chadwick so these were the scientists that discovered these subatomic particles and also these subatomic particles they were discovered in different years like for instance let's talk about their year of discovery okay like for instance proton protons was discovered in the year 1917 whereby electrons was discovered in the year 1897 and lastly neutrons was discovered in the year 1932 so all this must be noted about these subatomic particles and lastly these subatomic particles they are found in specific place inside the atom because i said that they make up the atom all right moving further let us talk about the locations of these subatomic particles now to do this i have to draw the diagrammatic representation of an atom okay let's say this is an atom okay the atom is unknown i don't know the atom okay here is something we must take note of now an atom is made up of a centrally located nucleus this thing that you can see at the center it is simply called the nucleus whereby we have orbits you can see the orbit all of these things that that are circular okay we call them orbits okay so the next thing we have to draw let me just draw one more and start labeling now this is okay this is the nucleus of the atom now it must be noted here that in the nucleus of an atom we have two important subatomic particles and i call them p and n whereby we have another subatomic particle that revolve around the nucleus and they are regarded to be called electrons now you can see here that 
we have two important subatomic particles found inside the nucleus and they are protons and neutrons whereby electrons revolve around the nucleus and where they are found specifically is regarded to be called orbits so you can see from the explanation so for their location this must be noted for protons earlier said they are found in the nucleus of an atom while for electrons they are found in where we what we call the orbits and lastly for neutrons they are also found inside the nucleus of an atom so all these must be noted